So uh, this is uh, a video to demonstrate how we can convert a usual uh, IR uh, cell for liquids, the one that you can have in your lab, a common cell, in a spectroelectrochemical cell by using a very simple device that we have prepared in our Group. So, this is a, a liquid, uh, a universal liquid uh, cell for IR, and you can see that electrodes have been uh, inserted inside in the spacer here, and now I, I will uh, show you how it works inside. So it's very simple because we just uh, substituted the, the Windows liner, the common Windows liner, with a new different Windows liner, which has this shape. This frame serves as a windows aligner and the spacer here contains the electrode and can be easily removed from the frame so that the, the, the care of the cell is very easy because this, is a, this can be considered as a spare part and you can uh, use it and uh, change it very easily and uh, in case something is broken you can order a new one without the necessity to order the full set and with this very very simple object you can transform a universal IR liquid cell in a spectro electrochemical cell you see, the use is very easy. These are the filling ports. You can hang your electrodes the potentiometer this way and you are ready for your experiment of course this has to be put inside a spectrophotometer oh. <laughs> very solid so this cell is inspired to a previous model developed by Professor Hart and described in the Journal of Electro, Electro Analytical Chemistry some years ago. is inspired to this cell, the cell described here, but as an extra bonus, it has this possibility to operate with a very compact object. There is no, not any fragile part which is exposed to the environment. Then the electrodes are soldered inside here and very well protected 
so this is a uh, quite uh, quite well uh, well it's not fragile at all it's very easy to replace it you can order a few of them and here I will show you how it works here inside Here it is. You see, these are quite fragile and susceptible to be broken if you bend the spacer. But this way, they are very, very well protected, and the spacer is very safe to be used. Of course, you are not obliged to do this uh, operation because uh, it's not difficult to <coughs> to clean the spacer just by removing this part. You can rinse it, clean it also here inside and then you can dry with the nitrogen flux you can even sonicate the spacer in case uh, your uh, electrons get uh, polluted by something so the working electrode the counter electrode and the very thin silver wire pseudo reference electrode This could be eternal, but for the fact that polyethylene is get fragile after some, uh, well, a couple of years uh, in contact with the solvents, and uh, the silver too is very, very thin, and after a couple of years can can break. So in case this breaks, you don't, you are not obliged to buy everything. You can just buy. A new spacer with his own T uh, accommodation, and you buy it. You don't have to do anything else than just put it in his place, and that's ready again for your spectro chemistry. In case you want to uh, change the material of the electrode or in case you want to change the material of the windows, you can imagine that it's very easy. It's absolutely as easy as with any other cell. You just change the windows, Cabier, uh, NLCL, whatever, and you're ready again. These are uh, calcium fluoride uh, windows and this makes the, the hotel cell, the spectral electrochemical cell, uh, useful to be used in the UV, VIS, NIR and IR. Okay, so I will show you a little bit of its, its use.